Hello everyone and welcome to our first practical lecture connected to the interface of the Metashape Pro. I will be showing you functionality and user interface of Metashape Pro for Mac. For this class I will be working with version 1.7.3 build 1.22.48. As I have mentioned before, the user interface looks similar for all platforms Mac OS, Windows and Linux. And no surprises, panels configuration in a different version of the Metashape applications will be very similar as well. At the same time, please bear in mind that when you will be working with Metashape and if for some reason you will be needing to submit any kind of requests to Agisoft support team, most of the time you will be asked to specify your computer operation system, the Metashape application version and build number. So the best practice would be to include all above mentioned info at the head of any of your support tickets. I will show you soon step by step process how to submit and work with support tickets. Okay. Let's get back to Metashape user interface for now. Well, first thing first. Before we start using Metashape and if we want to get the most from the application, it's a really good idea to go through the preferences menu. As a result, we are going to build our customized Metashape experience as a first step. It will increase our speed and productivity. Plus, we'll bring more predictable results when we will start generate our model. So, First, we need to navigate to Metashape menu and choose Preferences. Ok, so far so good. We see now there is multiple tabs over here. Right here in the Preferences, we will specify some particular settings to adapt our workflow for different type of drones that are currently available on the market. Some specific fields should be chosen for multi-rotor drones with RTK functionality and other fields has been designed for fixed wings drones. Ok, let's explore some settings now. Well, we will start our customization process from our first tab. So in the general tab there are some fields to customize. First field – language. This field affects our Metashape user interface. I stick to English because majority of photogrammetry community use English, so it will be easy to share tips and ask questions. But you can choose any of the supported languages as well. Next field connected to the default view in the Metashape. Here we're talking about appearance of your already created model. If you reopen your project, you can see in my case I use Dense Point Cloud as a default view. Dense Point Cloud model is a second step in the process of the 3D model's creation sequence. Let me illustrate in details what we are talking about. As you can see at the moment, I do work with Textured model, which is the fourth stage in the 3D model's creation. Over here I will show you. In the workflow menu all accomplished stages, so you can see that Metashape already has generated other types of models, including Textured 3D model plus DEM or Digital Elevation model and Artemisaic view from uploaded photos. And after relaunching my project, Metashape will open for me my model as a dense cloud model because of my preferences settings. It is convenient for me to stick to dense point cloud model. In upcoming lessons we will talk in details about each type of models. Ok, let's move to the next field. Interface theme. It's connected to the look of the user interface. As you can see, I use dark, but we have other options as well. Other options will be classic, it's kind of Windows style interface, light, similar interface, but very bright colors. Here you can change interface from dark to light without relaunching application, as you can see. The interface is very bright and kind of disturbing for my personal taste. I'm not a big fan of light user interface, so I really do like dark. And I think it looks a lot better and hopefully it will be easy for eyes as well. If you decide to use classic interface look, be prepared to reboot your application. It looks for me kind of old fashioned and not practical. Small icons with a lot of colors disturb my attention from my model. So let's get back to dark mode. Next area to explore is a checkbox field, high DPI mode. This option let Metashape application to scale up elements of the user interface on the high resolution screens. So all icons now are big and it's easy to work with them. And if you have small screen and would like to dedicate more area for your model view, just switch it off. 
let me show you difference on my screen. Over here my default view and this one with high DPI mode turned off. I will keep high DPI mode turned on for my Thunderbolt display. Ok, until now it was easy for sure. Let's move to the next field. And the next field dedicated to shortcuts. Shortcuts it will open for us window. Shortcuts field. It will open for us window where we can create our own personalized hotkey configuration. In order to do this just open this window and it's super easy to create new ones. Just double click in the dedicated field. But with shortcuts I would like to go a little bit deeper because it directly affects our working speed inside Metashape. Well, as you can see, our monument is almost staying on the grid. In some situations, grid is a very useful tool in the Metashape, especially if we need to generate geo-targeted 3D model. We will talk in details in upcoming lessons about Cesium map and other options for export geo-targeted 3D models. If for any reason you don't see grid on your screen, please go to Model, Show Hide Items, Show Grid. And as you can see, I already applied shortcut for this operation. I found it very helpful, because Metashape considered the middle point on the grid as a center of the 3D world with coordinates 0, 0, 0 and predefined view in application has been built according to the system. You can see right now how it directly affects our experience. If we decide to rotate our model by using predefined buttons and shortcuts like over here, if we are going to the button reset view and then press a few times buttons 6 or 4, we can see how application smooth and easy changing for us the view while we press one of the button. But sometimes, especially if the model has been created from DSLR type camera without GPS tags, model will not be properly placed on the grid and it will affect our view experience while we develop our model. For the purpose of demonstration, I have opened one of my draft projects. So you can see now the orientation is not correct. I can switch off grid, but when I press reset view button, it doesn't work the same way as with the previous model. Well, if you are not planning to export geo-referenced 3D object, it is not a big problem at all. But by the way, how to fix orientation of the 3D model we will explore in upcoming lessons. Now I would like to get back to our model and create a few more shortcuts for very useful tools. Let's do it together. On the upper side of the window we see our navigation and tools panel. I found out that I use more often navigation tool and rectangular selection tool. Let's apply shortcuts for them. So we are opening again preferences panel and on the general tab we are moving down to the shortcuts area. Double click and going to the line model. And exactly below we have two fields navigation and rectangular selection. I add my shortcuts space and common space. Done. One more shortcut I would like to apply to the operation of changing navigation mode in the Metashape. It affects our navigation experience in the model window. Please check. So, under model tab you can find this menu line. Let's apply shortcuts that will let us quickly change our navigation mode. So we are going back to preferences and in the shortcuts menu we are going under model menu, navigation mode submenu. Press your favorite combination of buttons and confirm your choice. If this shortcut is already in use by Metashape, we will see notification when we try to confirm our shortcut. We will create the new one. So shortcut create. We confirm it and close shortcut window. Customization takes some amount of time in the beginning, but it will make our life much much easier later. For the stereoscopic options will be prepared soon separate set of tutorials, so we are going to skip that for now. But I am gonna tell you everything about the rest of the fields here. Measurements, latitude and longitude format. I stick to decimal degrees because most of the GIS, geographic information system, or web mapping applications and GPS, I use decimal degree format unit. I use meters. 
This option will become important when we will perform measurements on the hour model. Miscellaneous part. Check for updates. I prefer to keep it on. Agisoft does release periodically updates to address bugs and to help new features come into play. And finally, one more important field – location of our log files. This info becomes valuable for support team, especially if we will be using cloud service.